So one of the most common struggles that I hear from Salesforce customers is in the area of cross-object reporting. Now, Salesforce reports and dashboards are amazing. They're quick to configure, easy to create, but you are limited in how many objects you can join together in order to create those reports. And with many customers that have complex environments and they want to join you know, 6, 8, 10, 12, however many objects together to get the reports that they need, uh, it becomes a, a challenge that unfortunately they often resolve by exporting Salesforce reports and uh, putting them into Excel. Now I know we do have custom report types and we can go in here and configure these, but understand that you're limited to four objects that you can uh, join together to get those reports. The good news is that CRM Analytics, because it's awesome, totally solves cross-object reporting. So if I go down here into my data manager, that's going to bring me, bring me into the back end of CRM Analytics, and I'm going to come in here, and we're connecting in our Salesforce objects here in our connections. All I have to do is go into my recipes, which is my data prep platform, click on new recipe, and now I'm going to select the various Salesforce objects that I want to join in order to create the dashboard, the report that I need. So for example, if I want to combine data from my opportunity and uh, tasks and users uh, and account and uh, even some service data, maybe we also want to go in here and we want to add information from uh, the contact object, for example, we can grab that here. And for each one of those, I can go in and I can uh, adjust the settings on those. Uh, for example, for the most part here, I'm going to choose the, the various fields that I want to include uh, for each different object. And once I've done that, I'll just go in and I'll say next. And now, hey presto, on our canvas, we have all of those objects with their data ready to combine. So, so now that I have all of the Salesforce objects on my canvas, I can begin to join those together. And you're going to see how easy that is. So I'm literally going to choose my, I'm going to choose my opportunity as my level of granularity. And I want to augment that with some account information. So I'm just going to drag using my mouse and I'm going to say join. And when I click join, then you're going to see this dialog box. And I have the opportunity. In this case, it's a very simple lookup. And I'm going to connect using my account ID. And I'm going to then uh, bring in name, etc. But I can have my left join, my right join, inner join, if you're familiar with those terminologies, etc. I could also, let's say, go in here, if I wanted to uh, get the name of the user for the account. I'll click on this and I'll come up here and I'm going to say that the owner ID for the account is the user ID on the user object. And now we're able to go ahead and we're able to bring in uh, that information. We can see the user ID, the user name, last, first, full name, etc that will uh, be brought in and that will be joined on to the account object. And obviously, you know, you hit apply here, that would be applied there in the flow. And you just pull together a flow that way and you're able to completely solve the cross object reporting because what you're going to end up with is a data set created as you saw in there. And then we can explore that data set we can go in here and we can build out our, uh, our lenses and uh, we can create dashboards, etc. Um, all based on the work that we did over here in the recipe. So no more hassles with only being able to join four objects. You can pretty much join as many objects as you want. You can also bring in external data because CRM analytics is awesome. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, the brief 
session today and I trust that you'll have fun building out your cross-object reports and dashboards using CRM Analytics. Thank you.